Hey guys, today we're going to talk about a buyout, but before I forget, the Arlen contest is going to end soon. We just need about a little less than 200 subscribers more, and then we can end the contest and do something new. We're probably going to do something related to Eldrick Moon. Today I'm going to talk about Moat. This is extremely disappointing to me, and before we go into too much detail, this same group is probably the same group who purchased Library of Alexandria. And people will say, hey, it doesn't affect me. I never want to play Moat anyway. This group is going to go after every single card on the reserve list. So whatever card that you do want for your EDH deck, probably it's better to buy it now than wait. It's a very scary group of people. So they purchased close to 40 copies of Moat on TCG Player, on Star City Games, retailers, as well as eBay. And now there's no copies of Moat under $700. Mo is a card being played as a one of in the tier two deck in Legacy. It is not a card that is you know pl being played as a four of. However, it is on the reserve list, so there's no way for Wizards of Coast to make more of it, given their internal policies, which I believe are a huge mistake. And this is why you have a small group of buyers with a large amount of capital, and they're going legacy staple after legacy staple after legacy staple on the reserve list and buying them all up so it's nice that you may have eternal masters but what deck are you going to play with when all the stables you need are 500 700 800 dollars and it's crazy to me but this is the behavior of the marketplace now and it's a small group of individuals who I have a sneaking suspicion I know what website they come from and they talk to each other and they pull the trigger at exactly the same time. It's an embarrassment to Wizards of the Coast, it's an embarrassment to our game. Our game is supposed to be meant to be played, not as investments or retirement funds, which a lot of people believe it is now. I would much rather have them reprint, reprint my reserve list cards so more people can play than have no one to play at all because the goal, my personal goal is not to make money from Magic, it's to enjoy the game uh, and to offset some of the cost but not like this. They've increased the price of Mo by $550. Assuming they have 40 copies, that's $22,000 of profit. Again, assuming they can sell the copies for $800 a moat. That to me is ridiculous. It is uh, borderline unethical and it cannot change it cannot stop and that's the worst part of it all library of alexandra moat who knows what's next who knows what on the reserve list is next for a huge spike and you might say hey it doesn't affect me so i don't care if you have any inkling of playing eternal wait until they hit the next card and the next card and the next card moat Library of Alexandra, they are only a start for this group. If I'm correct in identifying who this group is, they're responsible for a ton of buyouts. It's not, you know, it, it's not good for the game. It's not good for the game. So...